Hey guys, I'm really vlogging because I'm technically on vacation when I really am not technically, I'm really on study break. Uh, I have exams as soon as the two weeks finish to start the third semester or the summer semester, I'm going straight into exams. So you haven't heard me for a while, not because I didn't want to vlog, it's just been hectic. Um, we had about five courses this semester, and as soon as we finished those five final examinations, we went straight into our clinical preparation, meaning the exams that lead, lead us into and allow us to go into clinical, prep, clinical practice. So these clinical preparation um, courses cover everything for dentistry. Every single course you can think of, periodontics, prosthodontics, orthodontics, endodontics, every single course you can think of, we have to cover and we have to cover it broad and wide. We've been reading research papers, we've been doing simulated OSCEs, you name it, we have to do it. We have to now basically be critical in our thinking so that we can diagnose patients, manage them, and be effective in, in our procedures. Like even today, I made sure, I, I literally lost out on seeing patients because I had to go to um, what we call an outreach. And in, at these outreaches, we see patients for free or for reduced prices. Today I did um, the two cleanings and an extraction. Got out the distal, distal um, root of a first molar, but the proximal was lodged to me on the premolar. So it was a tooth number, tooth number 30. So that, that, that was a little bit disappointing. But for the most part, I've been pretty successful with my extractions. So in the next couple of, probably a month and some change, we'll be going straight into clinicals. Like I will not be doing any classes at all. The only thing that will stop me is funds. So. I've been working and working in the afternoon. I had to stop any because I was just getting too burnt out. Like I would just come straight home, read. My, I would look at my note and just go Ugh, drop right off to sleep because I, I was just exhausted. I mean, Annie's 12 hours straight. So what I did was I thought to myself, what I would do is open up, open back up my office, but this time in a different location. But this to show you how life is. Life doesn't go how you plan. I moved my office downtown open a dental office with it as well too. So I'm looking for a dentist to work in that office. And guess what happens? Within the first month of me opening it, someone is murdered, like within 30, 20 to 30 meters from the front door of my, of the building that houses my office. So I, w I literally left school to rush down there to go and see patients. And I was in contact with a patient saying, okay, come into office. And when the patient left out to come to see me, I got down there, I saw police tape. I was like, what? <laughs> like literally, like, I just moved there and this is what's happening. So that, that was kind of a downer. So it's, it's just been hectic. I can't, even, I can't even explain how hectic it's been. And I, and I, I still have so much to do. Even yesterday, at the, the last day of school, we were there trying to do some online course, some on the online continuing dental education courses, which are necessary for us to fulfill the requirements for this course so that we're allowed to go into dental, um, the dental polyclinic to do clinical practice, to actually just be in our clinical years. So guys, we're coming to the end, but the ending is getting more and more hectic and more and more um, demanding. And trust me, I am struggling to keep my head above water. Even yesterday, yesterday, someone asked me, why am I always lost? I'm lost because I literally am thinking about a million and one things. I'm either worrying about how am I going to pay for my tuition? I'm worrying about, oh my goodness, do I have enough money for the week? Or, oh my goodness, do I have enough money to meet, make ends meet? I'm literally in this. It's, it's me and my mom, and that's, and that's pretty much it. We're doing battle, and I'm battling, trying to make sure I can provide for my kids. Uh, so yeah, I'm literally... It's me, my mom, that's it. <laughs> and my mom's in, in Barbados, so I'm here in Jamaica by myself, trying to just keep my head above the water. And trust me, um, some days I just look at, my, look at myself in the mirror and say, do I really want to do this after a while? I'm just like, is it really worth it? But guys, I got a taste, just a taste of what life will be like after this. And I must say, it's a very good chance it will be worth it but for right now i i have to admit to you the pumped up version of myself i'm not feeling so pumped i i cannot explain to you how hectic just one day is for me so i have to wait <laughs> oh boy i hope when i look back on this in the next 18 months because our clinical 
year. Well, our clinical period is about, call it 18, 15 to 18 months. And it's just us managing patients and you have to make it do, or you have to make those clinical years count. And the reason why I'm saying this is because you can go in the clinical, the clinical part of this training and just want to see one patient in the morning, one patient in the evening. That's not what I want. I want to be seeing patients back to back to back to back to back. Because this thing is about volume. Everything in medicine is about volume. The more patients you see, the better you become. Um, the more efficient you become. The, like literally, the more money you make. If you're slow and only seeing one in the morning, one in the evening, when you leave the practice, or you leave clinical years, the clinical years of dental school, you are just going to be doing that one in the morning, one in the evening for quite some time before you start to speed up. No, I want to get very efficient and very, very accurate in my, my treatments. So far, extractions have gone, have gone up pretty decent. Cleanings have gone up pretty decent. Um, I'm pretty decent on mannequins for my restorative work. But when it comes to endodontics, we have not done it on natural patients. And endodontics to me is the, the nightmare of dentistry because when those files, those little files go into those um, root canals and if they break, you're in problems. You're in so much problems. So yeah, I hope you continue to subscribe. I'm sorry to be a downer today, but I just really don't feel very very um you know motivated i'm literally just telling you the truth it has been horrible but not horrible that horrible to the point that i i i'm not going to continue but i mean just balancing everything the school the work the money the finances my kids goodness gracious anyways guys enough about that i'm going to post some i'm going to try to post some videos throughout this um two week course this two week study break even though they call it a vacation it's really a study break and i hope you continue to subscribe to my channel thanks guys